Hi, thanks for joining us today. In this episode of Prophecy 101, we're talking about that we prophesy in part. The Lord Jesus often uses the gift of prophecy to help his followers do valuable kingdom work. But it's an error to presume that prophetic gifts usually provide a complete picture all at one time. This presumption can lead to filling in the missing details with our minds, thus creating expectations beyond the limits of what the Holy Spirit has actually revealed. Whereas, you know, we remember that God spoke to Moses face to face and clearly and not in riddles. But most of the other Old Testament prophets and their prophecies only paint part of the whole picture. Without humility and patience, we can often become like the Jews of Jesus' day who were expecting a militant Messiah to establish his kingdom through military and political power rather than planting a spiritual kingdom in the hearts of men through his death and resurrection, through his ascension into heaven and baptizing us in his Holy Spirit. There is a Redeemer, Jesus God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. He wrote to all believers everywhere. The Apostle Paul tells us that we know in part and we prophesy in part. Later, in Acts 21, the prophet Agabus tells Paul, the Holy Spirit says, in this way the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem will bind the owner of this belt and will hand him over to the Gentiles. All the information in Agabus' prophecy was true, but the incomplete picture led others to plead with Paul not to go to Jerusalem. But the Holy Spirit showed Paul himself that it was not an occasion of persecution that was to be avoided, but rather that Paul was to go through the persecution as a necessary part of completing his mission of declaring the gospel. Right before COVID in January 2020, my wife and I were preparing a messianic music project. This direction we had received through prayerfully seeking God's will in late 2019. We planned a number of on-location Messianic music videos to bless and to serve the Messianic community. At that time, the Lord gave me a picture of my wife and I playing along the Mississippi River. This was unexpected since it's over 500 miles away from North Georgia. It puzzled me. So I shared it with my wife and daughter. I see this picture of us playing along the Mississippi River. What does this mean? It doesn't make any sense to me. After prayer and some research, my wife and daughter learned that my wife's business trip the following month would, br would bring her within a block of the New Orleans Holocaust Memorial right there along the Mississippi River we concluded that the Lord was directing us to use this site for the first videos in the project. The small part of the vision that I got would have never led me to that conclusion had I filled in the details in my own mind. A more complete picture required prayer, searching the scriptures, and humble discussions with other spirit-filled believers who were advising and helping on the project. Shortly after wrapping up the video shoot, COVID closed New Orleans for many, many months. But praise the Lord Jesus, thanks to his gifts of prophecy, we got our task completed. Yea, though I walk through the valley Of the shadow of death thou art we And thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me, the presence of my enemy. Lord, we give an answer, Lord. How long, how long? Give me light, or I can live no more. How long will you hide? My foes rejoice when they 
Hi. From 2016 to 2022, I've never asked for contributions and none of my platforms are monetized. I'm generally more favorable to giving to widows and orphans than to giving to preachers. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Jesus cares about the girls in these homes. I just completed Christian leadership training with Dr. Mark Rutland who founded Global Servants, I've reviewed their financials, and I am impressed both with their accountability and the large proportion of contributions directly supporting their girls in Ghana and Thailand. Please visit their website, globalservants.org, and pray about giving to these girls through them. Tell me, do you care to obey